Hey guys, I'm Olive from the Olive and Ivory Show, and I'm going to show you how to restore these paint chipped and garbage rims and turn them into something beautiful. I am ready. Are you ready? Let's roll. It's the Olive and Ivory Show. That was awful. Hey guys, it's Olive from the Olive and Ivory Show. I'm doing something a little unique this week. I thought I'd do a how-to video. I want you to take a look at Ivory's Mommy Mobile, if you will. Now, these are the factory rims that came with our uh, Infinity SUV. As you can see, there's a lot of paint chips, uh, the clear coat's coming off, and I just about had enough and I want to restore them. Step one was taking the wheels off. Now I've laid them out front here on our patio and I put a tarp underneath just to protect the patio stones. Now as we zoom in closer you can kind of see again paint chips, the clear coat coming off. It's basically a mess. These rims need to be refinished if we want our vehicle to look just that much much sharper. Next up was grabbing the old hose and leaning the rims up against the vertical surface so I can face them. I wetted a piece of sandpaper and I commenced sanding this wheel. Now you want to create a good scratch pad for the paint to actually bond to the wheel. I'm also getting off all the excess uh, paint chips and clear coat. I even used a screwdriver to actually help me force this this chipping uh, clear coat off the wheel. Um, again, these wheels were a mess. This took a lot of time, a lot of el elbow grease, but at the end of the day, this is a huge part of the process or that paint just will not bond to your wheel. Again, you're painting on steel or aluminum, forgive me, and you want this to be a permanent bond. Now, as you can see here, I've given the wheels a good scratch coat and I hosed it all off. Now you can see a significant difference, like that, those, that clear coat and that paint was barely on the wheel and didn't take much to actually take it off. Now moving on to my next step, and this is also very important, this wheel needs to be dry. And I hand polished and dried these wheels to make sure there is not a drop of water. Okay, now preparing for this painting process. So I've got a bunch of cards here. You can use cue cards, you can use um, old business cards of yours. And I lined the wheel, the edge of the wheel and the tire because I didn't want to remove the actual wheel from the tire. Frankly, it's just a big pain in the ass job. So I lined it all around the circumference of the wheel to protect the, the tire when I actually begin painting. Now, as you can see here, I'm essentially prepared to start painting this wheel. Um, and I used a Krylon Color Master. I will tell you, this stuff bonds and it, it's a great prime and paint uh, combination for the wheel. Now, when you paint quick uh, spraying motions backwards and forwards, you don't want to hold the nozzle too long because that paint will just start to uh, drip. And the last thing you want are drips. Now, moving on to the next phase, I did three coats of the Krylon, and I actually can see a huge difference in the wheel here. Again, quick, quick, fast motions, and get that wheel completely covered. And when you move on to the next step, and this is where I use the Duplicolor wheel paint, and this is kind of like a finishing paint, and it's actually made for wheels. High heat, you know, um, and as you can see, I'm still doing that quick, fast spraying motions. My uh, cards are covering the tires, not painting the tires. You don't want to paint the rubber. And you just go back and forth, back and forth. Make sure you completely cover the wheel. Now, I did two coats of the Duplicolor as a finishing on this wheel. Now, let's check out the before and after. There's the before, Iris Mommy Mobile with her old, original factory rims, and after. Now, I've dressed the tires to make it look even that much more sharp. Um, it changes the entire look of your vehicle. You can do any custom color. Duplicolor has a wide range of uh, different colors, shades, you know, matte finishes, gloss finishes. I went with a glossy black finish just on against the white of the vehicle. It just looked really sharp to me. That's it guys, it's really simple. It costs literally pennies on the dollar, 20, 30, 40, 50 bucks on the high end, and you can restore your rims and make your vehicle that much smoother. Like, comment, subscribe. I will see you on the next Olive and Ivory Show. Bye YouTube.